What if a single missile could fly hundreds of kilometers, strike a heavily fortified target with surgical precision, and never even be detected until it's too late? What if one weapon could completely redefine how nations project power from the air? This isn't a futuristic fantasy, it's the Pape missile, Israel's long-range strike weapon that, that has earned a reputation as one of the most accurate and powerful air-to-surface missiles ever built. Developed to give Israel's air force a decisive edge in both deterrence and precision engagement, the Pope represents a blend of cutting edge engineering, strategic foresight, and raw destructive capability that few weapons in the world can match. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into the world of modern air power to explore Israel's Pape missile, a system that has quietly reshaped the way military planners think about precision strike operations. From its design and interior systems to its incredible performance, safety features, and overall impact on global defense strategy, this is one weapon that continues to command attention decades after its first flight. The Pape missile doesn't look overly intimidating at first glance, but every inch of its design has a purpose, stretching nearly five meters in length and weighing close to one, 360 kilograms, it carries an unmistakable presence when mounted under the wing of a fighter jet. Its aerodynamic body is built for balance and stability during high speed flight with carefully designed fins and wings that fold to make it compatible with various aircraft. The engineers behind the Pope weren't just creating a missile. They were crafting a precision instrument of warfare capable of flying through complex air defense systems and reaching its target with pinpoint accuracy. The outer shell is constructed to withstand intense aerodynamic forces while minimizing its radar cross-section, making it harder for enemy radars to detect before it's too late. The missile's heart lies within its guidance and control systems. Inside the Papi, advanced sensors and processors work together to deliver one of the most reliable targeting systems ever developed. It's guided by a dual mode electro optical and infrared imaging system, which means it can literally see its target. The operator can lock on to a specific target through a video feed and even adjust or confirm the missile's path mid flight. This level of control is rare, giving pilots the power to guide the weapon in real time, ensuring it strikes exactly where intended. Whether it's day or night, clear skies or poor weather, the Pope's onboard systems adapt to conditions seamlessly. It's the equivalent of a smart missile with a human touch, a perfect blend of automation and operator control, Performance-wise, the Pope delivers exactly what its menacing name suggests, with a range that extends up to 80 kilometers and even farther in its advanced variants, it gives aircraft the ability to hit distant, high-value targets without entering dangerous airspace. This standoff capability allows pilots to remain well outside the reach of enemy air defenses while still executing devastatingly accurate strikes. The missile's propulsion system, driven by a solid fuel rocket motor, propels it at tremendous speeds. Once launched, it accelerates rapidly, maintaining stable flight until it reaches its designated target area. At the business end of the missile lies a massive 340 kilogram warhead capable of penetrating bunkers, destroying infrastructure, or wiping out command centers with minimal collateral damage. Its precision allows it to neutralize only what's necessary, a critical advantage in modern conflicts where accuracy and control are as important as raw power. Despite its destructive potential, the Pope missile is designed with safety and control as core principles. Modern warfare demands not only effectiveness, but also the ability to prevent unintended damage or escalation. The missile features multiple fail-safe mechanisms allowing operators to abort a mission if conditions change or if the target needs to be re-evaluated. The secure data link between the aircraft and the missile ensures complete command authority throughout its flight. In other words, 
even after it's launched. The missile remains under pilot supervision. This level of control isn't just technologically impressive, it's strategically essential. It ensures that every strike serves a clear purpose and that precision doesn't come at the cost of responsibility. What makes the Pape truly stand out among its global counterparts is its versatility and proven reliability. It's not just a missile designed for one platform or one purpose. Israel engineered the Pope to be launched from various aircraft, including the F-15 Eagle and F-16 Fighting Falcon, and even adapted versions for bombers and naval ships. Over time, this adaptability has made the Pope family expand into several versions, including the Air, launched AGM-142, have NAP used by the United States, and ship launched and submarine launched variants capable of delivering similar precision strikes from the sea. Few weapons can claim to have crossed service branches and countries so seamlessly, and this adaptability reflects the missile's intelligent design and consistent performance record. In terms of real-world impact, the Pope has been more than just a showpiece of technology. It has served in active operations, proving its worth in complex combat scenarios. Its pinpoint accuracy and reliability under pressure have made it a favorite not only for Israel's defense forces, but also for allied nations that value strategic strike capability. When it's used, it's often in situations that demand absolute certainty of sucks where missing isn't an option. That kind of confidence is something most militaries are willing to invest heavily in. Speaking of investment, the Pape missile is not cheap. Each unit costs between one and one and a half million dollars, depending on configuration and technology variant. But in the world of high precision military technology, price reflects purpose. This is not a weapon meant to be used casually, it's a strategic asset. For the nations that deploy it, the cost is justified by what it brings to the battlefield reliability, range, accuracy, and deterrence. When an adversary knows that their key assets could be struck from hundreds of kilometers away with near perfect precision, it changes the strategic equation entirely. That deterrent value alone is often worth far more than the price tag of the missile itself. One of the unique selling points of the Pape is its dual mode guidance system, which allows it to perform equally well in both daytime and nighttime operations. It doesn't rely on one kind of signal or sensor, which makes it less vulnerable to jamming or deception tactics. The missile also has remarkable flexibility in its targeting ability, whether it's an enemy radar installation, an underground bunker, or a hardened military vehicle, the Pope can adjust its strike path and approach angle to maximize damage to the intended target while minimizing unintended effects. This flexibility, combined with its modular design, has made it a cornerstone in the evolution of modern air to surface munitions. Another element that sets the Pape apart is its global influence. Its design philosophy inspired several nations to pursue similar precision guided munitions. The concept of operator in the loop guidance, where the missile's trajectory can be adjusted mid-flight, has since been adopted and refined in multiple weapons systems worldwide. In many ways, the Pape was a pioneer in bringing surgical accuracy to long-range strikes, reducing collateral damage, while increasing mission success rates. It's not just a tool of destruction, it's an example of how technology can make warfare more controlled, calculated, and targeted beyond the battlefield. The Pope also symbolizes Israel's commitment to technological innovation in a region where threats can emerge unexpectedly. Israel's defense industry has always emphasized staying one step ahead. The Pape missile exemplifies this philosophy. It's the product of a nation that understands both the tactical and psychological dimensions of deterrence. Every successful weapon system carries with it a message, and the Pope's message is clear as a precision is power. The ability to strike with surgical accuracy, to neutralize threats before they can act, 
and to do so from a safe distance is what defines modern military superiority. Over the years, as newer variants and similar systems have emerged, the Pope has continued to evolve rather than fade into obsolescence. Its variants have been upgraded with extended range, improved seekers, and more efficient propulsion systems. In an age where drones and hypersonic weapons often steal the headlines, the Pope remains a quietly formidable presence in many arsenals, reminding the world that proven technology, when perfected, never really loses relevance. Ultimately, the Pope missile is more than a piece of military hardware. It's a story of innovation, strategy, and precision. It embodies a philosophy that values accuracy over excess, control over chaos, and effectiveness over spectacle. Its continued presence in service decades after its introduction is proof of how far ahead of its time it was when first developed. Israel's defense engineers managed to build something that not only met the demands of its era, but anticipated the needs of the future battlefield. In conclusion, the Pope missile stands as one of the finest examples of modern strike capability, a perfect blend of intelligence, precision, and power. It gives pilots confidence, strategists leverage, and nations a sense of deterrence that goes far beyond simple numbers or range figures. It represents the art of striking hard, striking true, and doing it with purpose. The Pope may be a missile, but it's also a message, a message that in the realm of warfare, precision will always be the ultimate power. If you enjoyed this deep dive into one of the world's most advanced strike weapons, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more content exploring the technologies that shape our modern world. There's much more to uncover, and the next story might surprise you just as much as this one.